the beast, man. Yeah. So we made a template from the pedals onto this cardboard and then we uh, matched it into the steel and cut it out with the jigsaw again. And then we have the second piece here and that will line up there just like this. Yep. And then we will cut that out and they will, it will be bolted or something from here. Yeah, it's coming out really nicely. Yes. And here it is installed. You can see we lined up the pieces like here and smoothed those edges and it looks pretty nice. And uh, you can you can pedal this. Yeah. And it doesn't hit anything. No. There you can see. First side is done. Like the fir first side of the first officer side. Yeah, it's looking kind of cool. Yeah. It has pretty tight tolerances, which I don't know if it's good or not, but it fits in. And the screws are here. And you can see that it is moving in there. All right, and we got the other side all <laughs> fended up. And we are going to go install it now with the other one so and we also cut the other sides so we're basically really close this one goes over here hey, this one. yeah what the hell look at that have you ever seen so well done pedal box yeah is it not included in the package? oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we have here here we have the or we'll have the um, adjustment box. Yeah. But, but the sheeting for the pedal itself looks really good. And this, this piece seam is seamless. Yeah. It went really well. Yeah. Look at this, Mr. Big. And this one, but this, this ended up looking actually really good. We were thinking that is it gonna look good, but yes, it does. All right, um, I just painted the um, sort of back side of these pedals. You can see these are the inner side of the first officer pedal. Uh, I got, I painted them with clear coat, and the only purpose of this is just to protect the metal surface from rust like you can see that kind of had happened here already now i got the primer set here or not no primer but a clear coat uh, protecting it from uh, rust and um then obviously the other side will be painted, painted gray uh, with just a roller brush probably A look at that we have got all of these panels uh, the panel casing painted from both sides the uh, underside as you saw earlier was with the clear coat but this is the top side and this is uh, with the gray paint uh, this is the first coat we need to do a second one because it's a little bit it's not it's not perfect yet you can maybe see it in the camera as well but uh, it's a, we need second coat. We got all of these painted and more on the other room here. For both sides, all panels painted. That we so far at least have. Uh, then we have this panel and this one. And they were the ones that are behind the pedals. You can also see that this side here and similarly this side here are painted. Um, 
so they look really nice. Um, uh, it's easier to paint them now, even though they are not finished on the edges here. Easier to do them now because uh, this way uh, we can access them from the back and from the this side and we can easily move the pedals here with a lot of access. So we painted those, looks really nice. You can see the texture is it's it's fine, I think, and it's it's not visible very much from there. But this one also needs the second coat, and it also um, will need to be um, continued on this. It's there when we get the rest of the fiberglass done. All right, I just wanted to give a little, little quick update here. Uh, you can see that um, I got the uh, second coat on the pedals here. Uh, but I have also done a lot more. So you can see that I installed the side walls that I showed you that we painted and um, well, yeah, painted that we have had ready for quite a long, long time. And you can see I also installed this top surface and the back uh, wall that was also uh, getting painted. Uh, same for that side, but that one doesn't have the side wall um, yet installed and the top down, but that is done and you can see basically how the pedal um, sort of <laughs> containment looks like will look like it's i think it's looking really really cool now on top of this um here we will have the adjustment uh, box that is for you know changing the distance of the rudder pedals and that will be added later but you can, uh, I did this so you can kind of get a better idea uh, of how it's going to look. And also we can add that adjustment box very easily after um, after this is sort of done. And we can start working on the MIP uh, before we do the adjustment. So we can start getting like test flights. The adjustment is not exactly that important right now. Just want to get moving onto the MIP. So we got the side wall in. And we're gonna get the other side wall in next. Do the exact same here. And you can see we have way more space for everything on top of here now. All the electronics and everything. Um, as well as getting ready for the main instrument panel. So that's exciting. Uh, I'm gonna continue on the next wall. All right, just a really quick update. You can see I installed the other side wall. And the next step we're gonna just do the uh, flat area here. That's gonna get that installed. All right, and another quick update. You can see we have the com complete main uh, main in behind the main instrument panel area done, and it's looking very good. You can kind of now finally see how it's going to look, even without the MIP. You can kind of see that's how it's going to be, and it it looks very nice. There's some issues with you know is this level all throughout and then um is this edge level or does it change like there like you can see there it seems like this but i'm wondering are these all parallel or not well that's just a little bit hassle then like is this and this distance same on the back as well it's just some little things that i had to worry about and i'm not sure if they are exactly perfect but I think they are fine. We can adjust those uh, with the uh, main instrument panel parts and all that. So I don't think it's that precise and important uh, right now. They are within five millimeters. So so it's, it's really acceptable, I think, I hope. It's looking really good. I'm not actually sure what's the next step. I guess we should finish the pedal uh, plating, but I need more screws. So I'm gonna buy more screws. Um, and then we should probably, honestly, I think the next step is the test flight since before the test uh, flight has been done, I don't think we should continue because we don't know if everything works. But um, test flight maybe next, we have to see. All right, just wanted to tell you, we got some more screws here and you can see um, I got the front panel attached here and um, I, I think, the clearances on these sides are pretty good and on the middle you can see 
what's happening here? Why do I have a hammer <laughs> in there? Um, with this plating on, uh, what happens is this cab here, as seen there, this is pretty seamless. Or it really is perfect. Couldn't be much better. But well, with this panel here, what was happening? It was um, good here, good on the back, because I have got a screw right there, that one, um, holding it. But nothing in the middle, and that this side seemed like it was a little bit under attention, so it had bo um, bowed like this, and it's so it is cupped in the middle. Now, what does the hammer have to do with that? Uh, it's not gonna be permanently there, wow. But I need to get a, a screw here uh, to get this closure in here. The problem with that is I cannot access with a drill in the mechanism here or I cannot make a hole or mount or anything else from the inside side to go from the outside. And that's also real tricky because we have this wall here. So then we end up, what I ended up doing is drilling a hole, let uh, me show you, drilling a hole in an angle like this, because that's the like angle that I could do it. Did the hole like this and it just trouble. I can't get it go through this because this is obviously not a what would you call penetrating metal penetrating screw so it just doesn't want to go through the metal it keeps bending it out at the sorry in and or deflecting going all crazy ways i have had some trouble with this one so i hope with the hammer and some patience i can get this screwed in and just get it fastened from this side so we don't have that ugly gap there. It's nothing me uh, that mechanically worries me, it's just that it looks doesn't look perfect and I want it to look. Alright, just update now. Uh, uh, I got it, I got it in. It's, it's, it was difficult and I had to do all sorts of stuff but we got it in. So you can see this is pretty nice, you can see it's on the back. It's, it's, it, uh, it's like that but I mean it, it's in the back, you can't even see it on the camera. And when you're sitting on, you won't see that. So I'm gonna be fine with that. But you can see the front seam looks pretty good. Little bit of a gap there, but we'll do with that. I, could, I mean, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. All right, what am I doing now? Um, I flipped this on this side now, this time. And I uh, went to look under here and uh, the pedal adjustment was very very tough very um not no it wasn't it wasn't, it wasn't good so i what i wanted to do is uh this here was contacting the wood here so i added some spacers on here uh sorry there you can actually see it under there on all corners and now i just need to go ahead and just do some adjustments so it's gonna flow freely also i don't know if i told you this last time I accidentally kind of broke uh the one of the gears that was over here so i'm just gonna replace that while i'm at it so let's go ahead and do that and then we go ahead and do the same on the other side and that's also gonna help with that pedal encasing uh, problem that we have. Um, I don't know, I haven't talked about that either, but it's nothing too major, just some spacing issues, which or adding some spacers will help. So we're gonna go ahead and continue with this. All right, all right. So I just finished the paneling on the captain side as well. We have got everything working very nicely. You can see I press this side and that side moves. It's very nice. Uh, it feels very, very good moving it by hand at least. I have tried it with my feet uh, earlier. It was a little uh, clumsy because we don't have the real seat houses on that one. Uh, but the next step, realistically, is to get the seat here. We're just gonna reuse the seats from the last simulator. They are really good, good enough. But um, those are the battle mechanisms done. And 
Next up, really, as I said, the seat, then the electronics on the uh, mobile flight side, and we have a te test flight for ourselves coming up. So, stay tuned for that. I'm sorry it took so long. It's been almost a month since the last update. I'm I'm actually so, so sorry about that. It's it's slow, and I have other stuff. We have other stuff, so it takes time to do these things. I'll keep on working on this as fast as I can. I try to update you as fast as I can, but it takes a lot of time and effort. So I hope you enjoyed this one as well, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Fifty.